then. So, continuing from where we left off, I don't exactly remember where I was yet. Okay. I am on caves too. Oh, actually, I didn't make it that far. We have a fair bit of items, though. Okay. Looks like I have the Ankh. That's good. Alright, so... Where have I left off at? Yeah, you've seen this a few times. You probably see this a lot if you play the game, too. You need flight. Or, like, some item that makes them come to you. Like, there's a magnet. Your tears can become magnetic as well. You know. The main magnet actually just draws items to your character himself. If I had bombs, I'd look for the secret room. You just basically shoot things. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. The, the basic idea of this game, guys, is you shoot things. Yeah, that's piercing tears. This will make your tears go through enemies. So there's two guys lined up. You shoot them, and you'll hit the guy behind him too. It's pretty cool. But I think it removes the knockback effect. Which isn't really that big of a deal. I don't think it's, like, mandatory to have that. But it can help, like, if you're trying to keep an enemy away from you. And I think I'm going to go in here. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Alright. If I had a way to get these coins, I'd go to the shop and, and try to buy, like, a 15-coin item. Mr. Poop. Gertie. Oh, I bet you have, uh, a lot of people probably have trouble with him. You gotta worry about all these things, and you gotta dodge his things. And does that. Like, it's pretty wide range he does. Oh, look at these rocks. Oh, the game's screwing me over. I mean, you just do what I said. Stay far back. And then you just kind of move out of the way. Like that. Sideways. You want to stay against the wall as much as you can with this guy. Keep your distance, because he will hit you. Like that. Go down. See, it's pretty easy if you just don't let him hit you. I, I know I, what I'm saying sounds like it's really obvious. Because, oh yeah, just don't let them hit you, but yeah, I mean... That's really all it is. Like, you just gotta know how to do it. I'm hoping by showing you what I do, you can figure out how to do it. Piercing tears are really good for these guys, because you don't even have to, like, sneak up behind them. You can just shoot them straight on. So that's really fortunate. Same way with these guys. Well, they're basically the same, except these guys don't fly. I'm sure there's other subtle differences in their behavior, but, yeah. I wanted that, but okay. This thing, it's not 100%, but like whatever you're facing when you have it on, like if you're shooting this way and you get a tear coming at you, if it hits you in the face, you won't take any damage. See, it glows blue. I'm not taking any damage from that. It's, it can be really useful if you get a bunch of items that make you tanky. Especially if you're... I don't think it works if like enemies come at you. I can't really test it though, because I gotta shoot at them to look at them. Down. These things... If I haven't already mentioned it before. You kill everything else in the room and then they just disappear. Ow. Well, that I can't really show you there, because the Dark Heart kills everything in the room anyway. It doesn't affect them, but, you know, if it didn't... I can't really prove it to you, that's what I'm saying. I, I can't just kill the one guy and then have the other guys disappear. 
Where'd I get a fly? I don't remember getting a fly. These guys are a different version of the other the guys that fart on you. They jump up in the air, as you saw there, and then they leave a splatter of blood. Flashing blood. When you blow off their head, they do that. Oh, I was going to show you what that did, but I killed them too fast. These things just, just come at you. Mainly if you're in their line of sight. They're kind of like the little maggots that go after you, but they're more like flying versions of them. Ow. These things always follow a set pattern. Ow. That was really dumb. See, he just keeps going around the same area. If you blow up, like, a, if there's, like, rocks here that are going around and you blow it up, it will change their pattern, which can screw you over. So, if you're looking to get items in the room... Oh, well, I'm going to double my coins here twice. Get 20 coins. It's better to just kill them, is what I was saying. Ow. Okay, the Ankh. I mentioned this before, but it brings you back as the blue baby, which is the question mark guy. He basically doesn't get red health ever. He has some other stuff too, but I'm not going to go into it right now. I will do a playthrough with just him at another point to show you what he does. Ah, as you can see, there's a tooth. I forgot to mention what that. Uh, I think it was called Tough Love. It was the the brass knuckles. It launches a tooth out at random intervals. Your luck affects tears like this, tear effects. Like if you get the one that gives you poison periodically or, you know, charm tears periodically, the higher your luck stat, the more often it comes out. Obviously, he doesn't have a very, very high luck stat, so otherwise it would come out more. It comes out often enough, though. These bats are pretty harmless. They kind of rush at you a little bit, but they don't really pose much of a problem. If you're decent at staying away from them and shooting. Yeah, if there's enemies surrounding a bomb like that, just blow up the bomb. Like it's TNT. Seems pretty obvious, but, you know. You may miss it. These things have like two versions, like there's one version where you kill everything in the room and they become deactivated. Obviously you can't damage them. Okay, um, and there's another version which keeps shooting even after the fact. I hate those things. These things, line of sight, stay out of the blood. Come at me, see? Just basically don't let them run into you. Ow. With the innovation of Intel, your creativity can shine this holiday. Expert service, unbeatable price, best. Ow. Part. I didn't get hit, but it seemed like I was going to. So I said ow prematurely. <laughs> you ever ever like almost hurt yourself, like you kick something and, and it makes a loud noise and you say ow anyway? Like, even though it didn't hurt at all, you just say ow because it, it's like a reaction. Like you've programmed yourself to say ow. Okay, um... Hoping for a shop, because I got the monies. I got the monies. Was there a coin in there? I didn't see no coins in there. Oh, it's hiding. That's why. Coin is a jerk. These things are like the other suits, meat suits, except they do that. You can tell because they're a bloody head, or lack of a head that's bloody. They still jump around randomly. This is a uh, mom's coin purse, which basically spawns a bunch of pills. So if you're going for pills, that's a good way to go. 
I'm not really sure if I... Yep, I had some identified. That's where I get to fly. Oh, we don't want that other one. Yeah, it's ranged down. We'll go ahead and get this. Yeah, yeah, I can see forever. That basically ge reveals all of the, uh... What do you call them? Seeker rooms on the level. Just by walking past where they are. This upgrades the shop and unlocks items as well. When the shop gets upgraded, it more items appear as the level goes up. Like, more items that you can get in the shop. So, the quality of the shop goes up. Which can be really useful. Okay. Uh, now, what's good about this is we can get the super secret room. And we don't have to worry about wasting a bomb or a bunch of bombs trying to find it. I usually don't bother trying to find the super secret room because it's not always worth it, even if you do find it. But if you get this item, then there's no reason not to look for it. It's free, you just get it. See? We got a black heart. And Loki. Loki's pretty easy. You stay away from him. And he will like shoot out a bunch of tears in different directions. Like that. And he'll spawn those bomb things. Which you can blow up on him, so... And he jumps around, but I don't think he actually shoots anything when he jumps, so it's kinda... I guess it's kinda silly, because he's not really even jumping at you. He does that. Oh, that was a short fight. Uh... Sometimes these skulls give you items, sometimes they spawn enemies, so, you know, can go either way. Look, we're dead. We're the dead baby. The dead blue baby. There's things there. Yeah, these guys, you probably have a lot of trouble with them if you played this before. But they're actually not that hard once you figure out how to deal with them. You do this. And you shoot him from the other side. I'll show you more when I find more of them. It's a little bit more complicated when you have like four or five of them in the same room with you. But it's still it's still doable. I missed both of those bombs on him. Oh well. There we go. I got him with one. Die. Yeah. Okay, I can explain these rooms to you. I probably already have, but, you know, I'm, I'm liable to repeat myself a few times. Because that's just, you know. Monstro, too. Yeah, he's a lot more mean than Monstro. He does that. If you can consistently get him to do that, you can get him like you get these other things. Let's go up here. He only shoots side to side though with that. He will not shoot up or down. Do that. He's gonna jump, he's gonna shoot up the tears. Cause enemies to appear. And now he's dead. The boss challenge room is which which is what that was. It requires you to have one red heart or less. Since we have no red hearts because we're the blue baby, we get to go in there for free. So it's kind of useful if you have a lot of this health and you don't have, you know, the red health. Or like just one of them. You obviously need those because you can't go in there otherwise, but you get my point. can be crazy like me though and try to do it with just one heart but you know you're more liable to die that way alrighty so you got these big guys and you got those jumping guys now oh what the hell well I was going to show you the oh well, I guess it doesn't always bring them down to the other forms where they have less body parts you know, I'm speaking English, so, yeah. 
good at it. I can explain things. Okay, this thing here. If you, as you take damage, you will drop coins. They will not be your coins, like greed. When he shoots you, and you lose coins, you don't actually lose coins. You just get extra coins. Like so, you're basically a bank that pays out when it gets hurt. If that makes sense. <laughs> Die. I hate those things. I feel bad for killing the little poops, because they don't seem like they're they're mean. They don't even come after you. They're just chilling. Look at them. These guys are dicks though. Look at this. Look at this. See I just I just dropped some coins. Or spawned, I guess, some coins. Because they weren't in his pocket. <sighs> See? Killed the guy, the other things disappear. No. No! These things are like the bombs, except they don't explode, they just shoot out a bunch of tears. Ow. I don't know why I said ow, but yeah. This is the library. This will time your bombs. Two clubs is bombs, spades is keys, and hearts is hearts, obviously, and diamonds is coins. It'll double any of those, but it will not double your actual heart containers, so keep that in mind. This will spawn to soul hearts. This is awesome. It's basically a free uh, damage buff every three rooms. But I usually save it for the boss, which is otherwise hard fights, hard rooms. Hello. Where is my time? It's not keeping my time. I don't know how long I've been recording. What the fuck? Well, that's unfortunate. This could be really long for all I know. Alright, well... I'm going to cut the video short here. Hopefully it's longer than, you know, nine minutes. <laughs>